somebody's behavior a long time ago, you can never know an individual case. Yeah, I've always had a, uh, a problem with uh, focusing on a single topic in my, in my work. Fortunately, Penn not only accepts that, but actually encourages it as an integrated knowledge professor. Penn's a place that really accepts the idea that you need to explore areas and directions that other people haven't thought about. To boldly go where no one has gone before, as someone once said. I'm an ethnographer. I go into these other cultures, the culture of the military, the culture of neuroscience, the culture of, of politicians and public policy when I'm in Washington, and I, 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 I try to understand these cultures and how they might interact. Bringing historians of technology together to see if there are lessons in the history of technology that will help us to understand job destruction and job creation in the 21st century. There are some new technologies like GPS that threaten to destroy millions of jobs, drivers, truck drivers. The implications of this new technology are vast, but what can we learn from, the, from previous uh, technological revolutions and in, in going back 200, 250 years? Will these new information-based technologies actually create new jobs? or are they uh, net job killers? That to me is a very interesting question. And that's a good example of how, uh, as a PIK professor, I get to move from history of technology into public policy. So what Penn allows me to do as a PIK professor is incorporate different disciplines into the classroom at Penn uh, so that my students can see that there's a new way of thinking about something that they'd been thinking about already or that they had never thought about before in that particular way. So the function of a great university is to bring resources from various fields of knowledge, forms of argument, life experiences together to address a life problem, and that's what we do here at Penn.